Okay, today I've received, just a moment ago, uh, from uh, UPS, the uh, Bose Wave Radio that I won on uh, eBay the other day. Uh, uh, peanuts. I hate peanuts. bubble wrap there so oh, looks like there's a wave radio in there and of course peanuts are going to get all over the place so So here's the radio, and uh, it looks pretty much as I saw in the pictures. A little bit of staining here and there on the cupboard, but that's to be expected. And there is one crack here, but that was clearly pointed out in the auction. Um, this didn't come with a remote, just the power cord. And let's see, so everything looks like it's pretty good on the back there. And I believe, yep, the battery cover is missing, which I think is pretty common on these radios. So this is an AWR1-1W and it looks like it was manufactured in 1995. Okay, so we'll see what happens here. Fire this up for the first time live. Nice, fairly long cord. Looks like something's happening here. Oh, it sounds like it's working. And receiving stations. Looks like it's got some presets there. Let's see. That station is uh, probably about 20 miles away. It seems to be working okay. Okay, so I switched over to AM here to my uh, local station here, WTIC. And everything seems to be functioning the way that it should. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and try the auxiliary inputs, but uh, everything sounds good don't hear any humming and there's no uh, evidence of anything working incorrectly so this is uh, this is a nice unit All right, one, one thing I'll mention about this radio here that I've just sort of noticed is that uh, normally a, a usual kind of portable or tabletop radio uh, sitting on my dining room table here like this uh, would be nearly um, unusable just due to the amount of uh, interference I have from all the different appliances and things in this house. Uh, AM radios just don't work well inside, uh, but this one is working just fine. Um, you can hear the uh, you know the station is fairly clear, and uh, of course the sound is excellent, which is not really going to be able to be uh, translated through the camera here. But uh, but even if you go to an off station here, you can kind of hear. I mean that's that's sort of the type of hash that I usually get here inside the house, but the tuner is able to uh, just uh, lock onto the station and kind of overcome any of that. Now here's another sort of local station, and uh, with that tuned in, you can still hear a little bit of, uh, of that noise artifact, but the station is usable, um, which is great. And then the, the FM stations are uh, even affected by the noise, so if I switch over to FM here again, and do some tuning. You can hear in between stations, you can hear a little bit of that uh, noise artifact, but um, for a station here, this is uh, here in Connecticut, and this station is reasonably strong, but not the strongest one. 
Uh, usually I'd have trouble picking that up here inside the house, but uh, it's coming in just fine without even an external antenna on this radio. So, um, so, so far I'm perfectly happy with the uh, performance, and I think this thing is going to do exactly what I want it to do. Uh, here's, here's another station that I can't usually get in the house, and that's uh, nice and strong with a decent sound all over the okay, place. Okay, so I've hooked up the radio here to my money uh, phone. All over America yeah, while I'm just we're doing using uh, iHeartRadio app. This is just um, exciting. Rachel, it's here. Just playing something that's not music, so the, uh, the music police don't uh, nab me here, but you can see that the, uh, the auxiliary input here works uh, just fine on this thing. All right, so here is my wave radio in its new home um, here in the, uh, the dining room slash kitchen area. Um, so that I can listen to uh, streaming audio, well now of course uh, AM and FM as well. Uh, what I used to use was this cobbed together set of uh, speakers, although the, the speakers actually have a pretty nice sound. These are Cambridge Audio uh, computer speakers, um, probably about the same vintage as the Wave Radio actually, uh, maybe a little newer, and uh, would just uh, hook up my phone here to this uh, audio jack plugged into the back of the speakers and would get pretty decent sound uh, but of course this thing is ugly that's why it's hidden down here on the bottom shelf so now I can put that away or use it outside or something along those lines <laughs>